So here is the electrical, uh, the box, you know, the breaker switch boxes here. And for the 50 amp, I will have to add another breaker switch for 240 volt here down. I will show you how to do it after. But the first thing I need to do, I need to actually let the cable go to the box. And for that, what we need, we need to knock down this. I believe that was is the biggest one for the 50 amp. So I will show you I'm, knock, I'm knocking down this one. But before what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down electricity. It's very important. Okay, you never work on a box, electrical box, removing uh, metal. Okay, it's actually a conduit. Uh, under power, so you need to shut down the power. That's what I want to show you now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut down the power 125 amps, really, shutting it down, and I will leave it open, I leave it closed. That's it. So, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to actually remove this. Remember, we shut down the power. See how easy it is? You can come and see it from here. So, see? so I can take this maybe a little bit. That's this piece of metal, okay? And now I'm going to buy a conduit to put here in order to connect the wire that you don't see it yet but you're going to see it very soon what you have to do here, you can see the Siemens 50 amps you can see the 50 amps here okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it like that okay, if you can see here and you see here this kind of uh, curve here they're going to be just attached and you attach it to this a switch that is not a 240, it's 120 15 amps, and then you just okay, just press it powerful, and that's it. You have a 50 amp Siemens, okay, which is off now. I can put it on, not better because there's no electricity, so that's it. So now we can turn on electricity if you want. We turn on electricity now, the electricity is on now, and we can actually put it on or off. It doesn't matter because you can see here is not connected with wires. Two wires will go here, and between of them it's going to be 240 volt. That's what I want to show you how to do it. It's very easy, and everybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Remember. So because I put another breaker here, I will have to break here two metal here. See the metal here. So I will have to remove two of them because they will not this this uh, metal cover will not go in if I'm not going to remove these two because we have two actually breaker so that's what I'm going to do next so here what I'm doing I'm using the same screw okay and I really want to knock it you can see how easy to knock it down Just use the screw driver here and just hit in a couple of times. And with my hand here, you can see here, I'm starting to just move it back and forward. Piece of metal, you can see. And that is another. piece of metal as you can see here okay and we actually have now uh, the cover can be actually put on the uh, breaker switches box so I put back the cover as you can see from here okay and if you're going to look close what you're seeing here is this new breaker 50 amps Okay, they are in off position now, and I just put the cover because I just want to show you how it's work, okay? Remember, I did not connect the electricity yet, the cable seal. What I want to do now, I want to actually go here 
see here and drill a hole because the cable, the electrical cable, the 50 amps cable will come from here so what I need to do now I have to, to drill a half an inch or three quarter of an inch uh, hole in order to move the cable to this box okay and I also have to get a conduit correct in order to pass this cable to this box okay so that's the next step I want to show you here what I did now if you look carefully I just put two lines here because I really need to cut the sheetrock here that's a very important thing when you want to put cables you will have to do it you will have to cut the sheetrock where is the box you see so I just cut it and you have to cut it between stud like one inch here and one inch here because when you're going to put the sheet like back you're going to have the wood to stick it to otherwise you have to do a lot of work so that's very important what I did here you can see I have to cut it because I have to drill a hole and you cannot drill a hole when this sheet rack is here okay so I'm using this tool the Dremler to cut the drywall as needed so as you can see, I managed to cut the drywall as needed. And for now, we're going to have an easy way to pass this uh, cable by one of these holes or to drill a hole as needed. As you can see, I managed to actually pull this wire. It is this wire, you see, it's a 50 amps wire. It's going like that until it's reached here. That the cable is coming from up okay and there's already a hole okay and it's going down here as you can see so what's happening here it's a use I already exist all as you can see there this all so I didn't know I did I did not need to drill another hole here so that's the stuff and I want to show from there what's happening here if you're going here, okay, so you can see here, I want to show you what I'm doing here. Look here, okay, you can see the cable comes from here and it's going inside the hole from here. Okay, that's what's happening here. So this is, this is the ceiling here, as you can see, and it's coming from the kitchen. So I just want to repeat what I did here. As you can see, I put a cable here which is 50 amp cables it's going under the plywood here you can see and then it's coming from here up then it's going 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 here going here and then it's going again under it's going here so to the under the plywood here it's actually the ceiling of the split level the down split level okay so here really what you're seeing here okay this is the ceiling okay it's actually sheet rock of the ceiling of the downstairs okay so here is the cable is coming from here and I just want to show you what I did here I attach it here with a clamp here as you can see and I protect it here with these plates protected plates that's very important because if you actually uh, try to put a screw there you know for sheet rock it can actually uh, create a short and the ass will go on fire okay so that's the thing what happening here you can see that's what we did now what I'm going to do I'm going to close it because remember this piece of plywood is actually here you can see this piece I'm just going to nail it down that's the other piece here which I'm going to put here back and as you can see here what I did I already put two support plywood here Okay, so now I'm going to close it and that's what I'm going to do next. So here what you can see, you can see the cable attached here to the stud with the clamp here. You can see the clamp. It's very important to attach the cable that it won't move. And here you can see it's attached here to the plywood. That's very important. Quite far from the stud here, this stud. Okay, it's quite far from the start because if you screw, you don't want the screw to go and touch this cable. 
okay and as you can see this cable actually is not going to be on a sheet rack here that's the sheet rack which is the ceiling um, of the understairs room so that is all strap you can see here that is a strap and that's what I use to attach the half an inch it's actually three quarter of an inch but it's half an inch cable 50 amp to the stud and to the plywood here as you can see okay that's very important this cable will not move from now on so here's the handle stairs room here it's quite a big room and you can see the ceiling here you see this uh, I put actually a tape here that's exactly the point where the cable going inside where you see it upstairs okay so you're going from here and you're going here straight to here okay here I open the ceiling as I showed before I want to go upstairs to show you what's going on if you're going upstairs you know in the ceiling here where, where I cut I just want to show you what's happening here you can see the black cable is here and you're actually going here through a hole in the plywood here there is a special hole for it and if you look here you see what's going on you're going to another hole here okay here see this cable is going 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 and then it's going inside here to a hole okay special hole here so that's perfect you can see the other wire going here but this is the cable so this cable has a special hole here that used to be there it already it was already here let me show you you will see it here you can see that's it so for here is going actually down okay let's see what happened next to the breaker switch or the box breaker box so here what's happening here you can see the cable going from the hole here down to the ground i have enough cable here okay I, still, I don't really need all of it, I just need to cut these wires, maybe until here, okay, maybe until here. We always need to have a reserve, okay, and we have to put it here, one of these all. So here what I'm doing, I'm actually putting back this piece of wood, plywood, okay, that I cut, okay, it's not very difficult. You can see I just push it here and just and that's it. So now what I have to do I just need to screw it. And screw it here. I'm going to screw it with a you can see what I'm using here, I'm actually using exterior screw. Even though if it's interior, if it's in the kitchen, remember there is water and stuff, you really want to protect it so you really need to use an exterior screw 158 it's enough so I already put the screw here and the only thing I need to do is just drill it okay that's it so you actually close already this with screws as you can see here okay so that's done now actually i put the second one here as you can see here are the screw i'm going to screw it now so these are the screws i'm using it's called deck mat it's for deck but it's okay for here also it's perfect just close them make sure it's flat it's plywood piece of plywood it's flat so it's flash with other plywood because remember we're going to put here the cabinet and it have to be level this is the board that I cut from the ceiling in order to push the cable I'm going to install it back again 
in all that he had to zero. I don't know exactly where it should go. So that's it. Just need to put compound here and paint a little bit and let's finish here. So this is the conduit I'm going to use. As you can see, this is brick water conduit that I'm going to use to put it on a, a electrical box there or breaker switch box as you can see here. What I'm doing here. That's the way I'm going to put it like that. And through that, you see this conduit, the wire will go. This is very important. You must, you must really use conduit in order to do it. The cable is coming from here or from here, you see. That's the hole. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so what I want to show you here is that here I'm going to put the conduit. You see this conduit? I'm going to put it here. Now, why I have to use conduit? Because one thing, this is very sharp. So it will cut the wire and then it will create short. The second thing, this conduit will be holding, protecting, in addition, you're holding in, this, in a place that you won't move. So this is a very important, you can see here, each wire comes with conduit. Some of the plastic and some of the a metal. For this one, we have to use metal. So that's what I'm going to do next. So here, actually, I have to put the conduit. You see the way I'm putting it here, like that. And the screw has to come from here. As you can see, because I need to actually tighten them, open them and put the cable in. Okay, this is the cable I'm going to put in. You see this 50 amps cable. It will go inserted inside this conduit. And here what I'm going to do, you can see the way it's actually here. If you come here, you can see the conduit is coming here. As you can see, it is in my hand, here. Yes? What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this washer See the washer that I have in my hand? And I'm just going to put it here. Okay, and close it. And that's it. Let me just put it and I'll show you because it's difficult from the angle. Let me show you if I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I put the washer here and I'm just tight it. And I'm going to tight it with ply after that to show you what's happening here. So as you can see, I already tied it here with a plier. You see this washer? It's very tight. Okay, now what I'm going to do is you look here, there are screws here, correct? So these screws, what I will do with them, I will open them. It's difficult to see, but okay, it's here. See, I'm just going to open them quite a lot. And that is the second one. Okay, so I'm going to open it and I just want to put a, this wire that you can see here. See what, you, what I'm doing now? I'm actually going and putting, see the cable here. I'm just holding the camera in one hand and the second one I'm putting the cable, but it's a bit tricky, but look at it. It's going, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it out. And remember, I disconnect the main. So there is no electricity, remember it. The main have to be disconnected when you're doing stuff like that at home. Other one is very dangerous because you're going to, you see between that and that is 240. And this is maybe 200 amperes. It can draw there, so be careful. That's what I did, you can see, actually putting the cable here, the cable coming from here, I'm going to push all the cable out and then I'm going to cut it as needed. So as you can see here, you can see the cable here. It's going from half and coming here to the hole. I just want to say something here. You see this cable? That's the main cable. This cable has to be up front. You see, all the cable is under this cable. You should not actually pass cable over it. Okay, otherwise you, wouldn't be, you won't be able to close the shoot rack. It's going to be very dangerous. So all the cables really should be under this cable. This is the main cable. So he is coming here, and now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close it with screw. I can just screw it here, as you can see. Okay, screw one, and tight it.
I just want to show that you have to really tight it here in these two screws with really tight here you have really really tight it until this cannot move up or down that's very important you push it and you can see it doesn't move so it should be very tight okay and that's the way it look under if you can look here let me show you the way it look okay it's a little difficult but okay here you can see it you see so that is the way it look here and these are actually protecting him protecting for that wires Okay, so that's it. So here, what we're going to do after that, we're going to cut it to a normal, normal which he is. You really, what you, you really, what you want to do now? You can see, you can see this cable here, which is also 220 volt washer and dryer, and here you can see 220 for the AC. So you can see the way they're going here. They have to have like quite a bit of wire here going like that and like that here. It's the same thing what you have to put here. You have to get this wire going from here, okay, through here. Okay, from here, down, to here. Okay, so this is two things. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to cut it as needed. 